So I have one microphone on the low C of the tubular belts, which is a contact mic that I will take after we start it. And then I place it here and can sample from this. Or I can sample from here. Or I can sample actually even from Bendix steel drum. So this is the two contact mics. And then I have four other microphones that go into the mixer. One is Hemming, the marimba. One is Bendik, the balaphone. And the percussion is Harkon here. It's a microphone underneath this marimba. And there's Eirik, which is the vibraphone over there. So I can basically take the signal from here, put it into the reverb, put it into the MOOC delay on FX2. I can put it into the chaos pad on AUX1 and 2. And I can put it into my computer, into my Max patches. So yeah, that's basically the whole processing is in this part. This is basically what I play. This is processing. This is music. So yeah, I mean the processing is also musical, but it's more like processing, so it's more like random. This is basically the whole in C piece on one laptop. And one live is like with the scenes here. This is basically what I'm playing connected to the synthesizer, to the drum machine. And yeah, and this is basically to control the sampling and restart the loops that I took or take new loops, record new loops. So it's the controller for basically my sampler and drum machine. Yeah, and then we have this little thing here, which is basically an analog, analog modular synth that is also connected to the whole system. It's basically an FM synth. And to not lose myself too much, I put like my little signs here. And um, yeah, that's basically the, the setup. For the in C now, we have this. This is basically the structure in scenes. And here's also a, like a suggested structure an arrangement, but it's a suggestion is not what we actually play tonight. So um, yeah, so but the, the musicians get cues, which like they have like a timeline they have to get from part, for example, 15 to part 18 in 30 seconds. So um, I give them the cue. So we say, for example, R then is the cue for for coming from pattern 8, 15 to pattern 18. But they start at different patterns. So it gives them all the cue to kind of lock back in together to kind of synchronize again. Because normally you only you go, you do it like either with a conductor or everybody knows where they are. But now with the electronics we need to basically find points where we go back together. So it makes some kind of sense.